Previously on Clash of Trades, teams have showed up to WSU Tech's main campus, the National Center of Aviation Training, and the Clash of Trades tournament has officially begun. The teams have submitted their designs and ideas for their wind turbines, and now they've got to implement that feedback. The client showed up, and it's about to get interesting. Stop what you're doing. As the client walked in and told us that everything was going to change, I'll I would say it's safe to bet that everyone was a little taken back. Okay, everything is about to change. Please meet me in the hangar. When I walked in the hangar this morning, I didn't know what was gonna happen. All I seen was toolboxes were sitting there, a whole bunch of people. I, I, was, I was nervous. I'm Bill with American Turbine. We at the company are loving what we're seeing. My boss has asked though, if it's too late to make a small design change. Nobody knew what was coming, what to expect. Just everybody was a little anxious. You'll each be tasked to add a design element to the mid piece. The four options are different sized slots that will be added to the mid plate section of the test piece. Each of those will be at a different level of difficulty. We're ready for surprises and everything. In order to determine which team gets which design, we're gonna play a game. We know that a wrench might be thrown into our um, plan. Like in the real world, the client just came for a visit and would like to make adjustments to the already designed test systems. Teams, welcome to your next challenge. So we walk in there and see the airplane models, all the scrap pieces laying on the toolboxes. In this challenge, one team member will be tasked with putting together a model airplane. This challenge represents the issues and the adjustments that might pop up out of the blue at any given time. The winners will get first choice of the four designs for that middle piece. The losers will be stuck with whatever's left. Teams, take a minute to decide which team member will participate in this challenge. Calhoun, who are you guys gonna pick for your piece? Ross. When we went out there for that challenge and told we were supposed to build an airplane, we chose Ross because he's the most experienced with building things and assembling things. Swig, who's gonna be representing you guys? We picked Connor. No one really wanted to do it. Usually when no one wants to do it, I just have to step up. That's part of being the team leader. Suncoast, who's stepping up for the Red Squad? We got Tyler. Tyler, Tyler is very good with putting things together. He worked in the aviation field, and I think we, we, he's got a leg up on what he's got going on over there. And Yuba, who did you guys pick? Cody Parker. So we decided to have our other programmer, Cody Parker, build it because he has a large background in model aviation. Teams, take your stations. There's a lot on the line here. This challenge could be the thing that pushes you over the edge to win this $100,000 competition. Teams, are you ready? Oh no, here we go. <laughs> let's go, let's get it, let's go! It looked pretty even from the get-go. Watching Cody, we can definitely tell that he is trying his best and everything, and we're looking around at the other teams, and we feel confident. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it definitely appeared that Connor was in the lead. He was putting together parts pretty fast. Hey guys, pick it up, pick it up. A lot on the line here, a lot on the, This could be the challenge that gets you that bag. Let's make sure we focus. Got it, it's getting close. Check, finished, I don't know, something. Everyone stopped, judges walked over. Looks like we've got all the pieces here. I think every team thought that it was done. We would see everybody walk over and there was something slightly wrong with it. They picked it up and as soon as they picked it up, I saw a thing of stickers on the table and I didn't put the stickers on the headlights. It's not done yet, keep going, let's go, keep going. It's not a winner. So we're like, okay, we gotta get it done. And Cody just starts slamming it out and tries to get it. Check. Then we hear check again from the same team. All right. Let's flip it off and make sure All the nuts tight. Looks like we got a winner here. Good job, Swick. All right. Yeah. I threw him on there sideways and 
<laughs> so they were still on there, so it counted on the second time I yelled check. Teams, all of you guys fought hard and very valiant. You put your best effort out, but Swick came up as the winner. Congratulations, Swick. As the winners of this challenge, you get first selection on the design element of the middle piece of your test system. Swick, come join me up here. So after Connor won the competition, we were given the opportunity to pick what design change we wanted to implement on our part. The one we picked was the one with the biggest slot, just because it's the easiest one to do. We almost considered, whenever we won the challenge, to just assert our dominance and take the hardest one humanly possible. But I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> we want to win. We're not here trying to flex or anything. Now we're going to decide which team gets what. So for Calhoun, which design are they going to have? I was pretty worried when they handed us the print. I said, I hope they don't give us this one because there was one that was pretty tough on there. What did we choose for Calhoun? We're just going to do that one. They're going to have B. All right, so Swick, what did you guys choose for Suncoast? Bottom left-hand corner. What does Yuba have? Uh, the last one, the bottom right-hand corner. OK. We already finished the mid part. It's truly frustrating to have to go back and redo a part that we already did. All right, thank you, Bill from American Turbine, for stopping by. Absolutely. Teams, it's time to get back to work. Let's go back into the shop and work these middle pieces back into your test system. Let's go. Attitude means everything. Sometimes, sometimes things don't go the way you want them to go, but you know what, you gotta figure out how to make the most of it. I've seen a lot of people get frustrated, but everyone's had a really good attitude about getting this to the finish line. We're halfway in the competition. I, I feel like we're doing great. We're standing strong. We got some curveballs thrown at us today with getting some change orders, but I think we'll blow it out of the water and finish on time or before time. I think they're realizing that this is a lot. Uh, they've been beaten up a little. I think they've had some surprise, not only in the change orders, but literally just in the amount of time and pressure that they have to do. You know, that's kind of what real life is like in a shop. You have things that pop up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> We don't look at it as a setback. We look at it as more of, all right, just another challenge to tackle. Because as long as you can get through a problem, then you learn from it. Life isn't life without problems. It's already set and done. We, we've got our programs done, we got everything done, and we just need to, to execute it. I think it's pretty neat to come back here just because I like competing. The, doing this kind of stuff is awesome. It's always a challenge, and I love challenges. Easy stuff is not the kind of stuff I like. When the teams presented, one of the designs was pretty interesting. Uh, I'll even say it was gutsy. They used additional material or stock to hold on to the part when they cut up one or even up two. You had a bunch of extra material on the top. Usually that goes into the waste bin. They got really creative and they took that extra amount of material here and they were able to cut out the interior pocket and they did it. They got this 30 thou thick washer. So 30 thousandths of an inch would be about seven or eight sheets of printer paper. Um, so pretty small. I think it should be a pretty good design, but most importantly, they pulled it off from a machining perspective, which uh, I give them a lot of respect for that. That was pretty cool. I'm always thinking of some way to push the envelope. There's no innovation unless you're pushing. All right, so I'm here with mentor and judge Shannon from Weld Like a Girl. And she is our expert today on uh, welding. And for the finals, she is the one that has everything down packed. The students and the contestants will receive a box like this with all of the pieces that they've got to put together that will become the vessel that will eventually get pressure tested. Shannon, can you kind of tell me a little bit about the process and what the final part will look like? The vessel itself is a pressure vessel, which means that it has to be watertight. So when they're finished and it's cooled off completely, we are going to submerge it in a tank of water to see if it leaks. If these areas here aren't properly sealed, um, then when the air goes through this vessel, the piece that sits on the top will not have any movement uh, because the air will be leaking out. There's a lot of pressure on the welders. If they don't make something that's watertight, then nothing, they can't win, nothing will work. The welders are hard at work putting together their vessels. The vessel represents an air compressor that will ultimately spin that wind turbine that they're putting on the top of their piece. It's crucial that the seals are tight because after they leave here, they'll be going into a pressure test. Let's check out how they're doing. We 
you're under your hood, you should be at the most peace that you can be at. And you're just confident you're doing what you, what you do every single day. You know, you train for it, and that's it. There's two welders out there who seem to be a little bit nervous, and I can understand that. You know, any welding competition, you walk into someone else's house. So it's, uh, you may not be familiar with their specific brand of equipment. The team with the age difference, they don't have a welding program. They just have a, you know, potentially a disadvantage if they don't have a welding program. There's a one welder out there that is, is welding like it's his job. 100%, very professional. I was a nerd growing up. My dad, you know, blue collar guy. He was like, son, whatever you do, I want you to learn a trade first. And if you don't like it, you don't have to do it, but you'll always have it. Welded for the first time and instantly was in love. We're useful to society. You know, everything around us has to be built by men and women like us that know how to build things. Things nowadays are made to be thrown away. They're disposable. The trades really, the, the core value is that we build things with our hands and our uh, really a piece of our soul goes into everything we build. I'm Adele Ratcliffe. I'm from the Department of Defense out of the Office of Industrial Base Policy. Everything in the world is either created or made. And if it's made, it's made with manufacturing. And we just need more people in it. There's an opportunity somewhere in manufacturing for everyone. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do after my contract ended with the military just seen a couple videos and it just caught my attention. It definitely helps with the anxiety because it's like, once you're focused on one thing, it kind of like edges out the rest of the noise. You're always gonna have a job anywhere you go. You can go from farm work all the way up to astronaut. You're taking raw material resources and using your skill that you've been trained with and turning it into something of value. So I've always told my, my welders that throughout the years is always, always be proud of yourself and what you do and, and always have, hold your head high and maintain that pride. Manufacturing is, is a community and it doesn't matter in manufacturing who you are, you belong. This is my whole life and just being here, you know, it's really, it's a big deal. I'm from Alabama. I grew up on a farm, you know. Just, I never thought I'd get this far. If we win or we don't win, it's in God's hands. But all I can do is just do my best, you know? You see that it matters to them as individuals that they do their best here. Putting us through the ringer here helps us to be better, and that's what we need. We need to be better at manufacturing in this country, and I think we're on that path. This whole competition, it's gave me a whole new perspective on what this is all about. It's not about clocking out and getting paid. It's about doing a good job, you know, and just giving it your all. Okay, well, there's time is up. Bring your vessels over. Everybody's a little on edge right now, you know. My biggest fear coming into this final round is, you know, choking and letting my team down and being able to so far do my job well and, and uh, do my part and then be able to rely on me and not worry has been very fulfilling. Always gonna be nervous. Never know what can happen, you know? For me, there's always the worry that, uh, you know, it didn't fuse, I didn't have my amps high enough or something like that. I've done the work and waiting for the pressure test. For this competition, the sealed vessel, it just means a lot of money. Uh, in a real world scenario, it means life or death. Like if something's not sealed, it could cause a gas leak or a bomb or anything. The welders have completed their vessels. It's time to put them to the test in front of the judges. Let's just hope there are no air bubbles. Red team, come on up, let's proceed. It's a moment of truth. Moment of truth. All right. You got little leaks. Just coming out the threads. Uh oh. So we might have some kind of yeah. catastrophic problem here. Might be a catastrophic fail. I believe this one here is in a position that it may not hold air. What do you think? Uh, definitely not holding air. I have welding experience, not necessarily train. I'm kind of a little nervous about welding, but uh, I can make it work. Good luck. Thanks. Blue team, you're up. All right, thank you. 
I have a lot of mixed feelings. I was just really hoping that there was nothing wrong with it. And when they put it in the water, I, I immediately s see the bubbles. I'm hearing air coming out. Yep, this corner too. I've already made my piece that I'm going to have to fix some stuff, and it's just about my ability to fix it. Thank you. Black team, if you would please, set your tank. I mean, as the judges were airing it up, I could hear a little leak going, and then whenever they put it in the water, it just confirmed that it was it was producing bubbles. Yeah, that's coming out of the valve for sure. The Schrader valve's leaking a little bit. On the bottom. Let's see what you got. Hard to sell. Yeah, top left. Okay. Okay. At least we got some. It's much better. So it was my turn. I didn't know what to expect because you never do. Brought over my tank, he took it, pressured it up. It sounded okay. I was like, all right, doing okay. All right, it's a moment of truth. Let's do it. All right, let's see what she does. Uh oh. I don't see any leaks. Nothing. And I was like, sweet, let's go. Very good job. Thank you. Seeing no bubbles was just the biggest relief. All right. It's holding good enough. I think I'll okay. throw it in there. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, where are the bubbles? It's leaking at the fitting. Yep, okay. So it's right there. We can fix it. I feel confident, but I, I did what I could do. I did my best, so it's just uh, do my due diligence like most welders do. I go over to our to our team, and you know everybody's excited. You know we're we're fist bumping and high fiving, and yeah, that was a good moment for us. All right, guys. So we've identified the leaks, so you know what to do. The professionals, let's get back here and get it done. They're not trying to change the world. They're trying to fix a tiny, tiny leak. Keep their wits about them. Make a simple repair and let it go. The excitement, the energy is high. The nerves are starting to get a little, a little tense. I'm seeing it. Is this a hole in the bag? Yes, there's a hole in the bag. Thanks for telling. We were off to a good start, but things are kind of, kind of going down a little bit right now. Is he hitting the jaw? No, he's not hitting the jaw. As soon as we started machining today, we had a uh, little bit of an oopsie, and uh, I don't know how far it's going to set us back, feeling a little discouraged. It's this diagonal section. Right here, it is trying to yeah, it maul into it. It was trying to trace these lines right here to get these edges flat, and it went one, two, three, it was all good, but on the last edge, the tool went on the wrong side of the line because I had a checkbox missing. In my head, I was like, oh, that's it for us, pretty much, after I saw that. I, I know, I'm just saying, what are we gonna do? the operation is an hour 20. We have less than an hour. OK, left. you guys talking over me? How are we looking, Tyler? What do you think? No, it's stressing me out. Team morale is looking a little grim. Everything uh, up here is not me. This is not me. So y'all yelling at me, tell me it's fine. Oh, everybody's yelling at me. You know, I, I just started getting real stressed out and overwhelmed, so I had to back up, so I had to leave and sit down for a minute. We have a lot to catch up on. I think we have like, we got like 25 minutes to catch up right now. Are they done there? Calvin, get it. Do it there. <clears throat> no. If you allow yourself to get frustrated, it's only going to be a downward spiral. Hit the reset button. Just calm down and make it through. It's really important not to dwell on whatever happened because the more time we spend worrying about what happened, that's time that we could be used going into something else. So even if we don't get first place, I think there's still hope for us. The team from Sarasota ran into a mistake that could be critical and could mean the end of them being able to win that $100,000. Let's see how they can bounce back from this. Tune in to episode three as we crown the 2022 National Class of Trades champion. I got a whole village behind me pulling for the win. Teams, it's time for the final test right now. Follow, like, and subscribe. Project MFG on all the socials.